Hey guys, I'm going to um, <clears throat> just show you what I've done here. This is a blueberry muffin quest bar that I have cooked and to cut up and then toasted in the oven. I did this once before. It's been a very long time and it was with the chocolate chip one. Um, and I basically made a cereal out of it. I haven't 100% decided what I'm going to do with it. Um, I don't know if I'm going to put it in a bowl and eat it with some cashew milk. If I'm just going to eat it like this as just a crunchy, I mean it's hard. I'm like squeezing. Um, like a crunchy snack or um, if I am I thought about putting it on top of some yogurt I don't know I haven't decided yet but I just wanted to show you that I had put this in the oven at 250 for about 10 minutes and then it toasted up really nicely when I made it as a cereal once before it was tasty it was a little weird but it was tasty um, and I don't actually have a hankering for cereal at this moment but I just needed something different so um, yeah this is what I'm um, doing. So today I made the fathead pizza dough and I cut them and made them into breadsticks. Um, and that, they turned out a little funny, I think. I don't know, I haven't eaten it yet. But I'm gonna dip it into this sausage and bruschetta um, sauce that I made. And this is the Classico bruschetta sauce and there's no sugar and less than one carb. Um, I don't know what the calories are. I can't read that through the screen. But anyways, I thought it was a pretty good deal, and I'm excited about it. So that's what's we're going to have salad for breakfast. And we have some lettuce, and then this is, I think, kale. Um, cheese, some peanuts, some mushrooms, some turkey, and an egg. There's one egg on here. And I actually mixed it in with a little bit of ranch, and that's what I'm going to have for breakfast. Hey, guys. I'm just snacking on some cheese crisp that I made in the oven. Um... I just cut some cheese cubes up into really thin slices and then baked them for a little bit. Um, this is how they turned out. They're super yummy. Hey guys, um, today for breakfast, I'm going to have some of this turkey bacon. And I'm going to dip it into this um, egg salad. I made more egg salad last night before I went to bed because I was craving it. And, yep, that's breakfast. Hey guys, um, I just made some dairy-free pudding pops. Um, <clears throat> I've not eaten them yet. They've not even gone to the freezer, but this is what they look like. I only made three and it was a lot. So I'm surprised I only made three, but, um, I used some of this coconut milk and I didn't use like, I chunked the rest of it, but I didn't use the, like the slimy white stuff. I only use like the thick cookie nutty stuff. Um, and the stats on this is for a third a cup is one carb. And, um, I might have you used two thirds, maybe. Um, I didn't measure anything, unfortunately. Well, I did the cocoa. And then I used this 100% unsweetened cocoa. Um, and this has just cocoa in it. And I used two tablespoons of that, uh, which two tablespoons is 20 calories and two carbs, um, the Ghirardelli. And I've really, 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 really enjoyed this. And then I added like two and a half droppers of this cherry vanilla new stevia that I won from Miss Susan one time, a competition. I've had these, I guess, three years now, and they are still really good. I don't even know there's an expiration date. Oh, there is. Oh, good. 11 to it, 2019. But I use these a lot and just random things. Um, there was a cherry vanilla one. There was a bunch of different ones. Um, but yeah, this is what it made, and I'm going to stick those in the freezer and hopefully have those later tonight.